Thank you for joining me. Because of all the evil, upheaval, and turmoil in the world, I've been asked by some Christians if it's time for the tribulation, as mentioned in the book of Revelation. Well, my answer is no, not quite yet. Now, I do believe most believers understand we are living in the last of the last days based upon biblical study. Now, the increase of evil, lawlessness, hate, fear, deception, and natural disasters are all mentioned in the Bible. We can definitely see the Antichrist agenda trying to come in before the time through this global lockdown. Now, however, we all must learn to understand the Lord, His nature, and His ways. And this is a lifelong journey for each of us. Now, I believe we are living in that period of time when the Lord Jesus delays His coming, as mentioned in the book of Matthew 25.5 and James 5.7. He delays for the precious harvest of souls. We've been given a window of time and opportunity. The Lord is not finished with our nation. He is not finished with His church. For the Christian, this is an exciting time to be alive. This is not a time to be asleep or to live in sin, to hide or to retreat. This is a time to arise to God's call on your life. Walk in the fear of the Lord and be led by the Holy Spirit as never before. This is a time of judgment on the wicked. This is a time for believers to examine their hearts. It's a time to examine our words, our actions, our attitudes, and our motives. It's a time to repent. Now, both this lockdown and election has brought out the best and the worst in some of us. This is a time for God's agenda to prevail as Christians are diligent to pray, to vote according to biblical values, and to obey His Word.